Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's recipe is on how to make fresh rice noodles for this delicious and refreshing cold spicy noodle dish. The flavors of this dish is really up to your preference. It can be sweet and spicy, sweet and sour, salty and spicy, or a combination of all. This fresh rice noodles can be used in a variety of Asian dish and soup. I hope you'll enjoy this recipe and comment down below if you have any questions. These are all the ingredients you'll need to make the rice noodle dough. This is the noodle presser that I'll be using in this video. It's hard to find this type that I'm using, but you can always check online on Amazon, Walmart, or Bed Bath & Beyond for potato ricer. You can use those instead. To begin, in a large pot, add in 7 and 1 4th cups of cold sink water. And then add in 2 cups of rice flour and mix these well till combined. In a separate large bowl, add in one bag of rice flour, which is 16 ounce, and one bag of tapioca starch, which is 16 ounce, and you're going to mix these together, then set them aside. Cook your mixer of rice flour and water from earlier over high heat until it has thickened. The time of this will vary depending on your pot and heat, but this should take anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. When your mixture is almost cooked and ready, you'll notice bubbles popping from the bottom of the pan. When this occurs, turn your heat down to low medium and cook this for another 2 minutes, then turn off from the heat. Allow your mixture to cool for 30 minutes. If you like to cut the time, you can place it over a cool water bath to cool quicker. While waiting for the mixture to cool, make your sauce. I like my sauce sweet and spicy with a little hint of fish sauce for saltiness, but adjust to your preference. I'm using 10 Thai chili. I'm dicing these so it'll be easier to crush. And then I'm adding in one garlic. Smash the chili and the garlic in a mortar and pestle, or you can just mince the pepper and garlic instead. Slice some cilantro about one third cup. Add in a half teaspoon of salt, more or less depending on what your preference is. And then add in 1 4th teaspoon of MSG, which is optional. Add in 1 to 2 tablespoon of sugar, again more or less based on your preference. Add in 1 to 4 tablespoon of fish sauce. I'm adding in 2 tablespoon now, and then later I will be adding in 2 more tablespoon. Total of 4 tablespoon. Add in the sliced cilantro and mix these together. Add in 2 cups of cold water. 
Mix these together. I'm adding in two more tablespoons of fish sauce, which as mentioned earlier, this is a total of four tablespoons of fish sauce. And then add in half of a lime squeeze, just a juice. This is optional. Here is my cold chili sauce. For the veggie, I am using green and purple cabbage. Slice these and then place into a bowl. You can use any other type of veggies that you would like. After the cooked mixture is cool, add it to the dry ingredients that was mixed earlier and combine these together. The main purpose of letting the cooked mixture cool is so that when these are mixed with the dry ingredients, there is no clumps. When the cooked mixture is added with the dry ingredients, mix these together using a spoon or a spatula until these are combined. You want a smooth and sticky texture of the dough. Your hands will probably get a little tired from mixing this, and if it does, you can use an electric hand mixer. I usually like to use that towards the end, just to make sure that my dough is smooth in texture. You can also mix this by hand, which may be a lot easier. This is how the dough should look like after it has been mixed. To cook the noodles, boil a large pot of water. Get a large bowl with cool ice water ready and set that aside. Scoop some of the dough mixer and place that into the presser. You want to just fill it just halfway. Using both hands, press your presser so that the noodles will form while they are pressed through the holes into the boiling water. Add in your veggies or any type of vegetable that you are using and let this cook for about 30 seconds to 1 minute depending on the size of your noodles. Remove the noodles and the vegetable using a strainer and then immediately submerge this into your ice water bath to cool. This is how long and beautiful these noodles are. Drain the water and then pour the noodle and cabbage into a plate or bowl. Here is just another look at how these noodles are formed.
Here is my plate of noodles and cabbage. I am going to add in about one to two tablespoons of the sauce. Once your sauce is added, give it a taste and then see what else you would like to add. Either more sauce, more salt, more fish sauce, or more lime. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like to see more of my cookings.